Well, good morning. It is Thursday, October 8th, and it's cool enough to be able to wear flannel, which I enjoy, sweatpants. Um, it is going to be warming up, I think, I don't know if it's today or tomorrow, we'll get some rain in again, and so probably one more cutting of the grass for the summer season is over. I start off this morning, I heard uh, barred owls hooting in our neighborhood, and I thought, oh wow, I wonder what the Bible has to say about owls. Well, they're viewed as an unclean animal, and uh, one reference in Isaiah was in destruction, and owls were still around with the vultures, and so I thought that not, <laughs> might not be the best way to start today. So I've chosen instead, this is Psalm 141. I call upon you, O Lord, come quickly to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds in company with those who work iniquity. Do not let me eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous strike me. Let the faithful correct me. Never let the oil of the wicked anoint my head, for my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn what that my words were pleasant. Like a rock that one breaks apart and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of Sheol. But my eyes are turned toward you, O God, my Lord, and you I seek refuge. Do not leave me defenseless. Keep me from the trap that they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I alone escape. And this is a psalm attributed to David. It's titled Prayer for Preservation from Evil. And a couple things. Uh, jumped out at me. Uh, one I had thought of earlier, but one just as I was rereading this uh, verse that says, Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. At my previous call, Lord of Life, our first assisting minister was Joe McNamara, and he had served as an, in, as an assisting minister and um, at least two different Lutheran congregations, perhaps more, but for a period of almost, well, I'd say over 50 years, I think. And so when we uh, went from having one worship service to two, uh, he volunteered to be an assisting minister for the early service. And we were getting maybe a dozen people or so, of which three or four or five had to be there. But it was to start knowing that we would be growing into it. But uh, why this text reminds me of him is that we would ride back uh, to our neighborhood uh, after a council meeting and I would drop him off. And one of his pearls of wisdom one time was, Lord, put your, put your arm around my shoulder and your hand across my mouth. Because <laughs> Joe was concerned that he would maybe speak too much at a council meeting or everything else, but I found his wisdom to be delightful, his passion to be uh, deep, his love for his wife, Pesh, enormous, and it was a pleasure uh, serving with him during those times. Also, what may be familiar to many of you is this text, let my prayer be counted as incense before you, as the and the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Typically in the Advent season, which we're not approaching quickly, but it is on the horizon, we would use Holden Evening Prayer. And a part of that liturgy goes, I don't know whether to sing it or say it, so it might come out as a little bit of both. Let my prayers rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. And then the first verse goes, O oh God, I call to you. We don't have the rounds going right now, but that's a beautiful part of that liturgy as the echo starts to fill the room. 
Oh God, I call to you, come to me now. Oh, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayers rise up. So if you're gonna have an earworm today, may it be the Holden Evening Prayer. There's uh, many um, recordings of that on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, become more familiar or re-familiarize yourself with that liturgy, but Holden Village is a place, a destination, a retreat center that we've never, Renee and I have never been to. It's out in Washington. It's almost like um, the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and that you have to, uh, most people have to fly to get reasonably close, drive, take a ferry. And then when you get there, it's, I, I think it was a copper mine at one point in time or something to do with mining and then the land was donated and has, be re, has been reclaimed as a retreat center. And Marty Haugen, um, the, uh, per, the composer of the Holden Evening Prayer Liturgy, uh, when he was on uh, one of, I don't know, I'm fairly certain he served out there. I'm not sure if this was a time of sabbatical retreat when he composed this liturgy. Um, I'll be happy to stand corrected by anybody who knows the history better than I do uh, as far as how that came about. But it's a, a, a well-loved liturgy, which, which goes back to, again, just the sense of joy that we have in community, the sense of loss by not being present with one another. Uh, but there are ways to try to uh, buoy our spirits. And again, many of these recordings are available on YouTube, uh, favorite hymns that uh, Gary Smith had uh, recorded as the Gary Smith Trio on the Facebook uh, Unilu Fellowship Facebook page, which is a closed group, but it's open to anybody that we know. Uh, it was established as a closed group just so that it would not uh, attract any misbehaving folks. So if you're interested in becoming part of that University Lutheran uh, Fellowship group, uh, simply it's the University Lutheran Clemson Fellowship Group, I think, just uh, asked to be admitted. And if, if, if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, we'd be happy to have you join there. And, and I think Gary had posted many of his um, recordings earlier. And it's also where uh, Judy Key has posted many organ uh, music renderings. So those are a couple ways to stay connected, to um, sing along, with these liturgies and these uh, hymns of faith. So let me close with a word of prayer. Holy God, our prayers rise up like incense before you. We give you thanks for this new day, give you thanks for the life that's abounding around us. Pray for strength and courage and encouragement as we go about this day to see those opportunities to serve and love our neighbors, to spread greater understanding, to listen to one another, to help dispel fears about our neighbors, to um, be your people in the world, to know that perfect love casts out fear. So help us be loving towards one another, um, loving towards our neighbors. And this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a blessed day. Hopefully get some fresh air if you are able. Um, sing along with Holden Evening Prayer Liturgy uh, and keep that close to your hearts. Bye-bye.